the Buffalo Sabres Silver Sword Club, Main Street Host, Speed Global, NFTA, Grand Tours, and Uncle Bob's Self Storage. Well, our starting goaltenders are brought to you by Tim Hortons Cafe and Bake Shop. Great tasting food, amazing prices. Tim Thomas, long in goal for the Boston Bruins and resurrected in a Florida Panther uniform, is having a pretty darn good season for the Panthers. And it'll be Jonas Enroth, newly selected to the Swedish Olympic team, who will get the nod from the Buffalo Sabres. And this broadcast brought to you in HD by the new Stereo Advantage. Visit the new Stereo Advantage located on Whirly Drive behind ECC North. Kyle Raymond, Mike Hasenfratz, they are the referees. Tony Saracolo and Greg Dvorsky, the linesman. As it's cleared back inside the Florida territory, Panthers will swing it on to Campbell. Campbell inside his own zone, just hanging on to it and trying to bring the Panthers away as he'll come on himself to center ice and whip it in deep. That's tapped around on the boards, goes back into the corner, shoveled around, came right out in front of the net, back back along the wall again. Kept in there by Bergenheim and taken away by Pezik, but Pezik lost it to Bergenheim. He fed it out in front, back to the point. Campbell takes his shot, blocked in front of the net by Pezik. Cleared up on the wing, jammed off the boards, but not out. Panthers keeping the Buffalo Sabres pinned in their own end. Now it's fired to the blue line. Here's another long shot right on. That's cleared away into the corner. Chopped around on the wall again. Ott comes over and levels his man. And it's finally fed on to center ice with Larson coming away. He'll tap it in and head to the bench. Thomas leaving it behind the net. Scoop back in the other direction to Kulikov. Kulikov starting away. He'll get to center and he'll dump it on in. That'll go around in behind the net, tucked back into the corner again. Held in there by Fleischman. Fleischman tied up by Edison. A shot deflected off the leg and goes wide to the other side. But again, the Panthers keeping the puck in the Buffalo and came right out in front of the net, chipped just wide of the goal. Worked around on the wall again. Sulzer tried to get it back again. He steered it ahead. Taken away by Ennis, who got it around behind the net for Weber. And Weber on to center ice with a pass ahead that gets knocked down at the line and is recovered by Florida with both teams engineering another change. Almost two minutes into the opening period, the pass up on the wing to Huberdo. He takes the shot, and that one is deflected around behind the net. Poked back in the other direction again, but kept in there by Good Brunson. Back to the point it comes. Jovanovski's shot goes off the leg as he tumbles to the ice. And now McNabb getting it on to center ice. And it's swept ahead and finally taken back by Lee Omark. Now dumped ahead as far as the blue line and brought back in over the line. The chance for Omark with a shot and that one deflects and goes out of play. All right, Jonas Enroth. Four shots already so far this game. On the last one, it's going to take him right in the head here. Uberdo is going to take this shot, comes right up, takes him in the side of the head, and he bounces it off into the corner right here. But once again, tries to get his shoulder up along with his head to deflect that puck out of harm's way. Now the puck cleared behind the net, and Campbell gets it up on the wing and on to center ice for Barch. Barch steering it in over the line. He chases in after it again, tried to feed it out in front. It comes back to the point. And a long shot deflected. Goes to the other side. Ellis. Taps it along the boards, finally got it out to center. He takes a bump from Hayes. And now Campbell again for Florida, squeezing it across ice. Brought to the Buffalo line, knocked down right there. Kanopka slipping it across ice again. It's tipped up to Scott. He can't get anywhere. Kanopka trying to take it back, and it's slugged around behind the Buffalo net. A little yapping going on now as the players make changes. It's brought away. And recovered by Erhoff. Erhoff swings it on to center, deflected on in deep by Ott. Recovered by Buffalo, in front to Ott, and he couldn't connect on it, and it goes all the way back into the Buffalo end. Enroth plays it off the boards to Ott. Ott scooping it over for D'Agostini. Tried to get it back to Ott again. That jumped away from him, and Barkov brings it in over the line, but he drops it back, kept in there by Boys. Sending it across ice in front to Boys again. He dropped it back. There's a shot up the side of the net. Tip back into the corner. Back to the point. The long shot is taken by Jovanovski and steered in behind the goal. Sultzer takes it back again. Sultzer rolling it around on the boards but not getting it out of the zone. 
D'Agostini trying to pry it free, and finally it's flipped high in the air and goes to center where Ott recovers. And he sends it back into his own end, and both teams will take advantage of that to make another change. Here's Weber spinning it up on the wing. Pass comes across ice, but went behind wow. Gergensen's. He finally tips it in, and Thomas steers it around behind the net to Campbell. Got it around on the wall and back out to center ice. Chasing after it, Upshaw, but taken away by McNabb. Now flipped ahead and deflected on in by Gergensen. Gilbert going back behind his net. He steers it away to center ice. And the Panthers start back again by bringing it in over the Buffalo line. Fleischman getting back across ice. The quick shot is right on. And it's going to be trapped and held by Enroth. Well, the Florida Panthers here are coming with a ton of speed. They're allowed to come up through the neutral zone here. They're gaining speed. Sabres are starting to back off just a little bit off the line. I think early in this first period, they maintain the line well. As they see it coming, as this period gets a little below, they're starting to back off a little bit and allow Florida to gain the zone a little too easy. they got to stay up on that line and make them start dumping it in instead of carrying it in the way they have the last couple minutes. Back to the point, Kulikov, he gets checked and it's brought away to center ice and a pass over in the wing now to Felino. Felino takes his shot and Thomas got an arm on that. Felino taking a run at Kulikov in the corner. It's kicked free right in front of the net and chip wide around on the boards by Flynn. Kept in by Buffalo with Omar swinging it back. Cross ice the shot right on by McNabb and he tried to clear it in front again and goes after it once more and keeps it in there. Now tucked around to the boards. Weaver comes up with it. He gets checked. Flynn slaps at it. Flynn trying to keep it alive. He and Weaver battle in the corner. Weaver's got it pinned against the boards. Flynn trying to pry it free. Finally, it's rolled around on the wall again, but the Panthers got it rolled in front of the net and it's slapped out to center ice. Brought back ahead. My gosh. He gets taken out at center and it's fed ahead. That went off a leg and now Jovanovski gets in over the line. He takes his shot. Enroth picks it away and it's spun out to center again. Going back after it's shore, he lost control. And it's fired around behind the Florida net. Thomas fanned on it behind the goal, but now the Panthers come up with the puck. Sending it on with a pass that goes across ice. Chipped around behind the Buffalo goal. Shore racing after it, leaves it there. That's taken away. And it's tapped out to center ice off the stick of Kanopka. Campbell steering it back into his own zone. He gets it right back again. Buffalo changing up once more. Campbell hits the Buffalo line, tracks it down, and kicks it around behind the goal. Picked up by Shore. He got it out in front, but that's kicked off, and away goes Ott to center ice. Ott will lock it in. in. Into the corner, D'Agostini trying to catch up with it, but it's tapped around by Gilbert. And fed by Campbell out to center again, brought away by Bergenheim, and he took it in over the line, but that's going to be an offside. Barkov got in there too early, 13-28 remaining. We're in the opening period from downtown Buffalo. No score. The Ford dealers of Western New York replay brought to you by the Ford F-150 with EcoBoost, built Ford Tough. Well, the Sabres in the defensive zone off the draw. Here's Allmark right in the middle. They lose the draw. Perfectly played here. He comes out with speed, gets his stick in a lane. Gets the turnover. Him and Felino go down in a two-on-one. This ends up being the first shot for the Sabres. And then right after that, nice feed from Brian Flynn. McNabb gets a great scoring chance. Now the Panthers steering it in. Comes back to the point. Whipped across ice. Long shot. Gets blocked and sent into the corner. Weber going after it. In behind the net. Panthers trying to tap it out in front again. Roll free. Weber picks it off and gets it up on the wing. On to center with a pass over to D'Agostini. D'Agostini fighting his way to the net. D'Agostini around behind the goal. Back to the point to Weber with a shot. That skipped wide of the goal. Kept in there by Ott. Ott swings it back to Weber again. Weber curling around, holding it in by sending it in for D'Agostini. He'll let it go to Ott. Picked off by Kulikov. Kulikov got it up on the wing, and that slithers back into the Buffalo end. Over seven minutes gone here in a scoreless first period. Seltzer starting away. He gets denied and is back into his own end, still being chased around. Finally got it up on the wing and it slapped right back to Seltzer once again. Over to McNabb. He got it ahead along the boards and out to center and down into Florida territory. Ennis trying to steal it back again. Came off a skate and ends up going all the way to center. That's 
recovered by Buffalo and shoveled on the boards as Upshaw gets bumping back in behind the play and it's whistled down and there's an interference penalty coming up here. Stay tuned for the Karuba Collision coming up later in the game. Go to Sabres.com to vote on the Karuba Collision of the Year. You have a chance to win season tickets for next year. Well, Eddie Jovanovski's going to the box for interference. And this happened down would be the defensive zone. Take a look at it right here. 55 comes in, pushes Ennis off the puck. And off the man, down he goes. That was the call. Uh, Panthers get a hold of it and wheel it all the way down the ice. This Sabres power play brought to you by New Wave Energy. Visit nwaveenergy.com to join the power behind the Buffalo Sabres use offer code Sabres. McBain got it up on the wing, deflected in over the line, but intercepted and sent high in the air and out to center ice. That'll be knocked down there by Kropetsky. He can't get anywhere, but he ties it up at center. Now it's brought back in over the line and the pass across ice to McBain. Swings it in around behind the net. Kept in by Felino. Felino tapping it back to the point. Felino's got it again on the wall. Felino turning. Sends it on into the corner. Right out in front of the net. McBain shot right off. Oh, and Thomas comes out to make a great save. Well, the Sabres coming out of their zone. Jimmy McBain is the guy they're going to look to want to have the puck. You're going to see this. He's got a clear lane. He slows down a little too much, waits for everybody to catch up. He's got a lane right down the gut, right down the middle. He's got to take that lane, gain the zone, and then get set up. And right here, right at the end, a nice pass out of the corner. Bobbles it just a little bit, but it gives Timmy Thomas just enough time to recover, get across, and makes the save on McBain. A little over a minute remaining in the Panthers' penalty. It's tipped behind the net, and Goodrunson will get it off the boards. Not out of the zone. Buffalo holding it in to Omar. Omar steering it back to the point. Omar after it again. Broken up. Slept on the boards. Omar recovers. Getting it across ice. Back it comes to Pezik to Omar. Omar top of the circle. Looking for an open man. Scoops it back to Pezik with a blast. And he fired it wide of the net. And it's going to be hammered around on the boards and down the ice by Good Brunson. 45 seconds remaining in the power play for Buffalo. Scoreless in the opening period, approaching the halfway mark. Pass cleared to center, is broken up, but stolen away and brought back in over the line by Kopeski. He turns again, to get it across ice, and a quick shot, and that's fired wide of the net. Sent around on the boards, and it goes back through center, and Kulikov chasing back after it. Kulikov will take his time and get it up on the wing. Buffalo making a change, and the Panthers will as well as they flip it back down around behind the Sabre net with only a dozen seconds remaining on the power play. Away goes Gergensen's. Gergensen's in over the line as he bowls over Campbell. It's tipped around on the boards, but stolen back again by Buffalo to Gergensen's. Tried to clear it in front. He had escaped. Now rolled on the boards. Kept in by McBain. McBain takes a shot. That just went wide. The rebound! And it's scooped wide by Gergensen's who comes up with it again. A backhand. Thomas knocks it away. Held in there by Buffalo's Airhoff got it in front of the net and Molson couldn't get his stick on it as the Panthers are back at full strength. Brought in over the Sabres line but broken up very neatly and cleared up on the wing by McBain. Now Buffalo bringing it back again. In over the line is Anderson. He got checked at the last second. It went to center ice. Airhoff slapping at it. The Panthers get it ahead again but it's going to be whistled down on the offside. Nine and a half remaining here in the opening period. A scoreless opening period. No score here with 9.31 left in the first. Our Hyundai leader, Tim Murray, named his Sabres general manager today. He's been with five different NHL teams along the way. And along the way, very instrumental in dropping some very big players. Carlson in Ottawa, Bobby, uh, Corey Perry, sorry, Ryan Getzlaff. This is a guy that's got 21 years of NHL experience. He was the GM of the Binghamton uh, Senators when they won the Calder Cup in 2010, 2011, but very good judge of talent and a very good guy in the league that is very well respected. And he's looking on here along with other executives of the Buffalo Sabres. Getting a first-hand look at his squad. Buck rolled around on the boards. Scott comes up with it. Scott rolls it to the blue line and out to center, and it's poked on now to Ellis who gets checked. Back in the other direction. Dukestad couldn't get anywhere. 
Ellis brings it back in and ducks away from a check. Fire to he's kept in by Scott, down into the corner for Kanopka. Kanopka pushing and shoving on the boards. It goes behind the net and is recovered by Goodbrunson, who got it up on the wing. That's tapped across ice. The pass comes ahead to the Buffalo line. Steered on in by Bukestad and Buffalo getting it back again, but losing the puck in front of the net. They shot it just wide. Well behind the goal and set up on the wing and now cleared on to center and picked up there. Kanopka got it ahead. It's deflected in wide of the goal into the corner. Felino got it behind the net. Felino swings it back in the other direction. Omar trying to get away. Omar still with the puck. Omar left it there for Flynn. Back to the point it comes. Airhoff shot. That's blocked. Picked up by Omar. Omar trying to get away from Campbell. Omar still with the puck. Back it comes to the point. Over to Airhoff. Plus a shot. He fired a one rebound. Right in the goal crease and covered up by Thomas. It's underneath his leg, I think. He's not sure where it is. It's a great feeling when the Sabres win. Last year, we won over 2,000 cases for our clients. So if you need help, give us a call. Now you're right there, RJ. Tim Thomas had no idea where that puck was. A couple times here so far in this game, it's only 12 minutes old. Flopping around quite a bit, just kind of going side to side, just kind of lunging at the puck, hoping that he gets a piece of it. Well, that's uh, long been his style, though, so it's it's been successful. Yeah, you're right. He, he has had success with it. But it just gets, I think as you get older, it gets a little more difficult sometimes. It's more difficult to get up. Yeah, you're right, and to get side to side. So when you rely on those reflexes like he has to, some nights it's difficult if you're not feeling 100%. I'm on board with that. The puck in the circle worked into the corner, back out in front, and the shot gets blocked. Back to the point. Drilled wide of the net by McNabb. Kept in by Ott. He spins it free. D'Agostini, another shot by Larson, just goes wide. And he's recovered in the corner by the Panthers' Kopetsky, who gets it up on the wing and on to center for Huberdeau. Huberdeau bringing it in over the line. That's steered on into the corner. Rolled around behind the Buffalo net. Larson trying to steal it away in there. And then he finally tapped it on into the corner, where it's recovered by D'Agostini. D'Agostini fights his way through center, taps it in, and heads to the bench. A little over seven minutes remaining here in the opening period. Drifted in by Jovanovski. Around it behind the net. Upshaw going after it. He gets taken down. Ennis trying to pry his way free and does as he gets on to center and in over the floor to line. Ennis hangs on to it, drifts it off the glass. Tip back along the boards to Gergensen's. Gergensen's around for Ennis again. Ennis trying to get away. Ennis got it back to Gergensen's. Gergensen's right on the goal crease. Molson whacked at it, but Thomas covers up. All right, good job by the Sabres. Taking the puck, taking it wide, penetrating the zone. And then when they get the zone, not stopping and looking around, keeping their feet moving, making things happen with the puck. And when it's not there, bang, you get it. A couple quick passes, rotate it in the corner. But always, look at Matty Molson's always looking to get him spot in that low slot area just above the crease because those guys playing with him know he's there. As soon as they get the puck, they can instantly look for him for that quick pass. Back to Erhoff with a shot. That's right on Thomas the same, and he covers up on the rebound. And the puck came free momentarily, and a little bit of pushing going on there now. That could get interesting with this line out there for Buffalo, but nothing else is going to happen. Maybe. Uh, Big John still laying on the ice here. Right off the draw here. This is what Kanopka brings. Winning draws in the offensive zone. And when you win those draws in the offensive zone, they're the kind of opportunities you're going to get, and that's what you want. You want the puck to the point quick. Nice slow shot at the net. And bang, you get an opportunity from it. But after all of that, Scott heads to the penalty box. Well, John Scott ended up laying on the ice. For an awful long time after the whistle had gone. He's getting a two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct here. He comes into the crease and can't really see what he did. <laughs> oh, you know what? He picked up the puck. You seen it right there? He picked the puck up, threw it in the net. Yep. 
And now it ends up in the Buffalo bench since we'll have a faceoff coming up in the Sabres end. As the Panthers have their first power play of the night and this Sabres penalty kill brought to you by Napa. Napa has the know-how. Well, these are the things that come back to haunt you. And when you got to play a squeaky clean game and a perfect game to win, you can't afford to take penalties like that. Flynn got it off the boards but did not get it out. Campbell keeping it in. Panthers drill it across ice. Slapped around behind the net. Airhoff reaching for it. Couldn't get it. And it's kept alive by Boys. Boys drips it back into the corner. Comes out in front and in Roth. Well, well, they had it long enough for the whistle to go, although the puck's in behind the net. Stay up to date on roster moves. Find out what the coach is thinking every week on WGR. Ted Nolan, Tuesday mornings at 8 with Howard and Jeremy on the home of the Buffalo Sabres. WGR Sports Radio 550. Now here's Brad Boys down low. He's going to get an opportunity. Stepping in, takes the shot, and Rob holds it just long enough for the whistle. Huberdeau sending it, trying to send it back to the point, but it's picked off and drifted down the ice by Kanopka. Campbell will come up with it. 115 remaining in the penalty to Scott. Way through center goes Kopetsky. He gets checked right at the blue line, but it's fired across ice to Huberdeau. Huberdeau. Sends it back, cleared on into the corner, kept alive by Bugstad. Back to the point it comes again for Fleischman. Fleischman gave it away to Weber. Weber got it around on the boards. It's tipped up in the air and finally is drifted all the way down the ice by Seltzer. Campbell chasing back after it. He'll start away. Campbell gains center with a pass ahead, tipped in over the line by Barkov. Now it's rolled back to the point to Campbell again. He got it back across ice. Fired to an open wing, chopped at, and picked up by Larson, and Larson steers it all the way down the ice. Ellis racing after it, getting back quickly as Kulikov, and he gets pulled over by Ellis. But the Panthers start away with 20 seconds left in their power play, getting it in over the Buffalo line. Boys flipping it back to the point. Cleared right in front of the net, went off a skate. Boys has it again. Boys looking for the open man. Boys has got it again. Doesn't shoot. Back to the point it comes. Held in by Gilbert. Gilbert goes wide. He steers it into the corner. Buffalo returns to full strength. Cleared back now to Boys again. Boys pulling it free. Cleared it into the slot. No shot. And now it's fired wide of the net. Rolled around into the corner with Jovanovski. He got it around to Boys. Boys tipped it in the goal crease. That goes down behind the net. And is recovered by Flynn. And as Bergenheim was looking for a penalty to be called against Buffalo, it's finally tapped out to center ice. Gilbert for the Panthers, leaving it there. Coming off the bench and racing in after it is good Brunson. His backhand nowhere near the net. All the way around to the boards. Cleared across ice again with a shot that gets blocked by Gergensen. Rolled out into the corner. Pesic gets no knocked over. And now play has been called. And... There's going to be an interference penalty coming up here to the Panthers. So with four minutes remaining here in the opening period, Buffalo will go to the power play. The official copier company of the Buffalo Sabres, Toshiba Business Solutions, your leader in document management. Now Jimmy Hayes is in the box for interference. Number 12 right here. Just comes through. Pushes Mark Pesic out of the way. Problem and as he pushes Pesic him away, the down block. he goes. Yeah. Yep. Buffalo with its second power play chance. Campbell comes up with the puck. Weaver scoops it around on the boards. Kept in by McBain. He flips it to the other side. Ennis the first one there. Ennis tried to chop it back into the corner, but it's shoveled around and picked up by Weaver. Weaver's got lots of time and lots of space and sends it down the ice off McBain. Enroth steering it on to McBain. Bain to center, hits the floor to line, tips it over to Molson. Molson tapping it back, air off, can't control it, and it's stolen away and brought in over the line by Upshaw. Upshaw turning, and it's Foligno who follows up on the play and takes it away from him. Air off the pass on to Ennis again. Ennis getting in over the line, he gets checked, and it's out over the line and brought back in offside Buffalo. Wow, Christian Erhoff at the blue line has a little difficulty. 
Handling the puck right here. It's in his feet. Bounces off the wall a little strange, but a nice job in the recovery. Just buries his head. This is Upshaw with the puck, but he just buries his head, gets back, and actually catches him, gets in front of him, and able to use his stick to help knock the puck away. Back at center ice, it's dribbled ahead, and Pezik takes it away. Three minutes to go here in this opening period. A minute left in the penalty to Florida. Pass on for D'Agostini. Steers it in over the line to Watt. He'll get it back to the point. Swept over. And uh -oh. clear now and kept in there by Omar. Omar trying to feed it in beside the goal to Ott. Ott tried to tap it back to Omar. That's broken up. It's slapped ahead and ends up going over the stick of Pezik and out to center. Pezik up with it again. Up on the wing. Omar brings it in over the line, but his pass went back to center ice. And now Omar will try it again. Omar leaving it there to McNabb. He gets checked. Here's D'Agostini with a backhand. It didn't get through. And rolled off the boards and recovered by the Panthers. And now slung ahead and down the ice. Chasing down after it is Shore, but he gets checked. And Buffalo trying to make another rush here before the penalty expires. Ellis drills it in. It's going to be right on Thomas, and he's going to hang on to it. Just one tick on the clock left in the penalty. Well, so far tonight, the Sabres power play, they're gaining the zone. They've had some good puck movement, but in this last power play, they gain the line, just sort of standing around waiting for something to happen. If there's nothing there, get your feet moving. Get in an area. Draw somebody to you, which allows something to open up on the other side of the ice behind you or something. But you just can't stand there because you allow the Florida Panthers or the opposition to come to you, cut off all angles, and then you're caught. Officials have decided that the penalty had expired and it's cleared up on the wing and brought away now to center ice with a pass that's knocked down by Seltzer. Seltzer clips it ahead. Deflected across ice, but it went behind Felino. And now all the way back into Florida territory where Campbell tracks it down. Campbell in the corner swings it around on the boards. Picked up by Bergenheim. He drifts it across ice. Florida coming back with Gilbert. Gilbert chases after it in behind the net. Seltzer's on him. They kick at it in behind the goal. It pops free out in front, but is picked off and brought out by Ellis. He gets it on now to Flynn. Flynn steers it in on his way to the bench. Campbell, who logs an awful lot of ice time, night in and night out. Gets it ahead. It's dumped up on the wing as far as center A. Stolen back again. Deflected at the line. Club back in the other direction with a minute remaining in the period. Brought back in by Gergensen. Gergensen slaps it around behind the net. That goes to the corner to Molson. Molson tried to roll it back to the point, but it's picked off and goes to center. Now brought back in by the Panthers again with a quick shot that's right on. Kicked away by Enrock. Tapped it back into the corner. Upshaw was looking for the rebound. And recovered back, and Gergensen comes to center. He flipped a one-hand pass that gets picked off. And Good Brunson got it around on the boards. Jovanovski tapping it ahead. On to Huberdo. Huberdo gets it in over the line. Kopeski's shot deflects around behind the net. Recovered by Buffalo with 20 seconds remaining in the period. And the pass goes to Ennis. Ennis will feed it ahead as he gets knocked down at the blue line. Got back in over the line now and a quick shot right on. And that's going to be held by Enroth. Now one thing the Sabres have done well this first period. Block shots. Five block shots at this point by five different guys. They're getting themselves in the lane early in this hockey game. They spend an awful lot of time in their own zone. So a nice job by the forwards and the D. Helping out the goaltender by getting in that lane. So Gosh will take the face off against Kanapka. That's scrambled and sent to the boards and now punched ahead but not out. Knocked down in front of the net by McNabb and he taps it through center ice and that will bring the first period to an end. Maybe. Yeah, Ott and Gosh going at it here. Not for long. Now it's. That referee's a good job separating that. That was a little bit of a slow start by the Sabres here in this first period. It almost seemed like till the 10 minute mark, they couldn't get their legs going. Once they got their legs going, they started putting some shots on the board. But they still haven't found a way with two power plays and eight shots to solve Tim Thomas yet. 
Well, it ends up being a 0-0 score at the end of the opening period. 13 to 8 of the shots on goal in favor of the Florida Panthers as the Sabres look to try and get back on the winning track here on home ice. So of course, we'll zero in on the netminders. Jonas Enroth's second career game against the Panthers. First time around was earlier this year when he stopped 44 of 45. And I think Rob Ray pointed out how confident Enroth looked. Didn't matter what position he seemingly had to be in. He was very good at turning them away, as was Tim Thomas in period number one. Braden McNabb had a really good look there, but a super aggressive Tim Thomas, as we have seen so many times in his career, had the answer. This is the 29th career appearance for Thomas against the Sabres. Of course, the previous 28 were as a member of the Boston Bruins. Shots on goal are in favor of Florida 13 to 8, but the Corsi number is minus 2 for Buffalo based on all the chances generated. Buffalo was six missed shots. More on that coming up. Opponent blocks were five and six respectively Sabres and Panthers. Now let's get to the puck possession in the first period. I don't think we've seen this this year. We've seen it really close. I don't think we've ever seen it dead even. <laughs> Ten minutes for both. Offensive zone possession goes in favor of the Panthers, which is not only surprising, but it's disappointing for Buffalo, given what Tyler Ennis was talking about. The fact that they had two power plays. They should have had more zone time with the puck. And that leads me to the point about missed shots. The Sabres may be wise moving forward and again this is where it's so easy to look at the game from our vantage point here but the one thing they need to know and have probably been reminded from the coaching staff with thomas's aggressive nature buffalo's best friend tonight can be the backboards play it off the backboards take those advantages from the side door they just missed a couple of tips and they had a good opportunity from marcus felino from just below the goal line because uh, thomas is so aggressive in and around that crease so we'll see what transpires in period number two from a buffalo standpoint it's scoreless right now as we hand off to rj and razor for the second and we are ready indeed for the second period here from first niagara center little scuffle at the end of the first period did not amount in, to any penalties nor should it have larson stumbles to the ice trying to dig it free and it'll go all the way back down to thomas campbell rolling it around behind the net to the corner Steered up along the wing. Ott rattled it right back in again. Broken up and trying to get away is Gilbert who got it in over the line. It came off a skate and picked up by Ott in the other direction. And Larson stopped skating. I'm not too sure why. It's deflected and recovered by Campbell who sends it up on the wing to Boys. Boys tapping it in deep. In comes out to chop it around on the boards and get it on to Steve Ott. Kozik's pass goes to D'Agostini. Back to Ott again. Into D'Agostini, and he couldn't get his stick on it. Back to the point to Seltzer. Seltzer wheels it over to Weber. He takes a shot that gets blocked. And is tipped up on the wing to Boys, and Boys feeds it away to the Buffalo line, recovered by D'Agostini. D'Agostini's pass is intercepted. And it's chipped and taken by Bukestad in over the line. He goes around behind the Buffalo net, trying to get it out in front. Gergensen rolled it to the blue line and out to center. Bugstad catches up with it there and looks to bring it back in the other direction. And he does. And he gets in over the Buffalo line and takes a backhand. And Enroth got a shoulder on. Picked around on the boards. Bugstad with it again, trying to hold it in there. And drops it off along the wall. Kept in by Upshaw. Back around behind the net. Bugstad is chasing it down again. Back to Jovanovski. His shot, long shot goes wide of the net. Chipped off the boards by Molson out to center ice. Picked up there by Ennis. Ennis sending it back to Weber. Now cleared up in the wing to Gergensen. Gergensen fighting to get away from his check. Huberdeau went around into the corner. Ennis picks it up, leaves it for Gergensen's off his skate. Buffalo needs to make a change. He's cleared back in around to Gergensen's again. He leaves it there to Ennis. Ennis around behind the net. Ennis fighting off a check, chases back after it again. Ennis still with the puck. Tried to clear it across ice and went all the way to center. McNabb spins it off the boards. Chipped back in over the line by Molson. In front to Ennis. Couldn't get a shot out of what he did. Thomas came out and made the save. Held in by Buffalo. Tap back to the point, but the pass is going to end up back inside Buffalo territory. McBain catches up with it. It's banked off the boards. Up for Felino. Felino failed to get it out, held in there by Huberdeau. 
Huberdo sending it back to the point. Campbell's shot. That doesn't go through. It went off McBain and bounces into the corner, but they're going to whistle it down. Well, I had an opportunity to speak to Teppo Newman in between periods. He said his team's being a little too hesitant. He says they got to be a little more attack in the neutral zone. They sat back more than usual. He said the big thing is Florida's giving them a lot more room than what they realize. They got to start taking advantage of it. Do it right on the face off, and Flynn will be excused, and that'll bring Felino in to take it against Shore. Tip around behind the net, worked up ahead. Omar, Omar being challenged in the corner, leaves it there to Earhart. Has its long pass ahead, picked up by Felino in over the line, drops it back to Omar. He doesn't shoot, and he gets checked, and now it's brought back in the other direction. Starting away, Hayes. Hayes tapping it in. Oh, started out of the net, now gets back into the goal again. Rolled around on the boards, picked up by Polino, and he scoops it out to center. Going back after it, Gilbert. He rolled it around behind the goal. The pass comes ahead and is reeled on out to center ice to Hayes. Hayes getting it up on the wing, flipped in by Shore, who heads to the bench. And taken away by Seltzer, who gives it to Earhart. Erhoff challenged, swings it off center, threw a, off a leg and down the ice, and no ice in. Cleared back into the corner, kept alive by Ellis. Ellis tried to roll it to Kanopka, but it goes in around behind the Florida net again, and is tapped out to center ice. Panthers bringing it back into the line, Barkov. Barkov dropped it off. Worked along the boards, but kept in by Florida into the corner it goes. Boys kept it behind the net. Covered by Weber, but Weber can't get it out. Still battling for it. Boy is trying to come up with it. He gets knocked down. Seltzer kicks out of the on the wall. They scramble away and finally taken away by Weber, who rolls it ahead and gets it up to Scott. Scott to center ice. His pass was picked off. And the Panthers bring it back in over the line. Here's Birkenheim with a shot right on. And the save is made by Enroth. Now another long shot goes over top of the net. Seltzer got it off the boards, but not out of the zone, and it bounces across ice, and it'll be recovered by Weber. On to center ice. Head on in by Kanopka. Panthers recovering. Five minutes into this second period. Ott keeping it in. Ott chases after it again, looking in front of the net, and Larson couldn't connect. Back goes the pass to center. It's swung in deep into the Buffalo zone. McNabb tries it free. McNabb got it along the boards and out to center ice. And it's brought in over the line. D'Agostini getting it back to Ott. Cleared it in front to shut the score. McBain on the pass from Ott. And Buffalo takes a 1-0 lead. Oh, and well, Steve Ott twice in this shift. Does a nice job passing the puck, allowing Jamie McBain here to jump up to get his third of the year. D'Agostini and Ott working it along the wall. Steve Ott realizing he's got McBain coming through the high slot area. Untouched. Nobody really knew he was there, but that puck was bobbling a little bit. Jamie showed great patience, settled it down, then took the shot, and he went back across the green, far side and in, catching Thomas coming across. A little over five minutes into the second period, the first goal of the game is scored. Gergensen's trying to get away at center ice. He drills it in deep. That'll go to the corner. Thomas snapped it off the boards. Molson keeping it alive for Buffalo. Got it around to Gergensen's. Molson's shot hit a leg. Cross ice. Pesic keeping it in. Got it in behind the net. Gergensen's up with it again. Gergensen finally gets knocked down. And it's brought on to center by Huberdo. Huberdo steering it in and chasing it after it. Pesic is back to break it up. Huberdo hits the deck. Pass comes up on the wing. Kick free at center by Ennis. Ennis shovels it in and charges in after it. He takes out Kulikov behind the net, but it's tapped up on the wing and brought back now by Kopetsky getting it over the line. That's broken up. Long pass to center. Break away. Here's a chance of the shot. Right up. What's the save? Flynn, who walked in all alone. 
13.46 to go here in the second. Buffalo leads by one, almost two. Buffalo leads four to one nothing here in the second period. Jamie McBain on his goal. We're gonna watch where he goes. Here he is in the middle of the ice. Number four, watch the anticipation here. He reads this play perfectly. He knows they're gonna get the puck. He jumps up. He's got three Florida forwards behind him. He's up in the zone to make it a three on two. An excellent positioning, but a great pass here right before the, the period or the whistle. Allmark up to Brian Flynn, but a great save by Thomas. Now Campbell lugs it back in over the line. Flynn stays on him and knocked it away. And it's rolled around on the boards and stolen away and brought on by Felino. Felino to the floor of the line. Off his stick and recovered by the Panthers back in the other direction. And over the line, Barkov, he left it there, goes after it again, gets checked, but it's kept in by the Panthers with a shot, and that one is gunned high and into the mesh. Well, Miss Rob Ray on WGR, he takes you inside the locker room, gives you a player's view when he joins Shope in the Bulldog game days at four on the home of the Buffalo Sabres, WGR Sports Radio 5, 5, oh. Very inspiring half hour, RJ. Is it really? Yes. Is it a half an hour? Yeah, it's something like that. It you seems work like a half an hour. Time flies when you're having fun. Some it? days it seems like hours. <laughs> Been there, done that. Yeah, I understand. Here's the puck punched off the boards. D'Agostini rolled it to the line, but not out. And a long shot. And bumping in front of the net was McNabb along with Barch. Panthers keeping it in, keeping it in behind the goal. Barch got it out in front. That's knocked down. And Barch tracks it down in the corner and swings it back to the point. Jovanovski. Jovanovski's long shot. That's blocked. Rebound. Great save by Enroth. As he takes one away from the Panthers, Barkov. Now Jonas Enroth. He's in a groove here. You're reading him. See him? He's down, crunched down. He's looking, trying to find that puck. And he gets him down in position. Once he makes the initial save, he recovers. And he just gets right there. Gets himself, finds the spot, closes the five hole, but does not leave any type of a rebound. Puck just lays in front of him, and he's either easy, even to cover it easily. Olsen digs it free. He gets on to center ice. Tips the backhand in. Bergenson racing in there, trying to steal it away in the corner. Molson around to Ennis. Ennis back to Molson again. Molson looking for an open man, still has the puck, leaves it for Ennis. Ennis starting behind the net, drops it off to Gergensen. Gergensen's bothered by Bukestad, but gets it on to Ennis again. Ennis trying to flip it out in front. Right in front of the net, shot right on. And Thomas makes the save. And it's cleared off the boards, is jumped to the blue line, and finally kicked free and sent on to center to Bukestad, who gets it across ice. And deep into the corner and going around behind the net is Good Brunson. He took his shot. That didn't get through. And is taken away by Pezik, who works it on to Ennis. Ennis steps away from one. Gets to the line, but no farther. Panthers try to bring it back again. Ennis tracking it down behind his own net. He'll leave it there to Airhoff. Pass up in the wing, Felino. To Airhoff. Airhoff rolls it over to Pezik. He got it up on the wing, but it deflects around behind the Panther net. Swung around on the boards. It's going to go all the way to the corner, and Florida getting it back again with a pass out to center to Gosh. He got it in over the line. Campbell racing after it, pushed it across ice. And it went to the boards and ends up in behind the net. Seltzer comes up with it, got it back in the other direction. Omark left it there. And finally it's taken away by Felino. Gets it on to center to Omark with a pass ahead. In over the line as Flynn puts on the brakes. Flynn still with the puck trying to get away. Gets pinned against the boards. Omark trying to help him out. A pushing shovel on the wall inside Florida territory. Flip back. Comes all the way back to the point to Seltzer. Seltzer holding it in. Into the corner to Omar. Omar swings it back now to Weber with a shot. Thomas steered that away. Goes into the corner to Huberdo. Takes a bump from Scott. Florida bringing it on out again. Up to the Buffalo line and over for Campbell. 
And across to Goss, you can't control it. Well, squeezed around behind the net. Pass is tapped back again, rolled around on the board. Scott trying to reach for it. Knocked it free in the corner, scooped around, picked up by Seltzer. Seltzer banks it off the glass through center. Too far for Ellis. Kanopka came over to take out his man. It's chucked in over the line. And ends up going around behind the net to Weaver. He got it to center. McNabb tipping it across ice. The pass to Kanopka. Kanopka sends it in, trying to charge in after it. Weaver along the wall. Got a kick it free in the corner, but it's recovered by the Panthers with a pass that ends up back at center ice. McNabb takes it away. Over to McMahon, and it's flipped right back in again by Ott. Pass to Weaver in the corner. He got it around on the boards. Out to center. McNabb had to scoop it back in over the line. He did, but the Panthers recover with nine and a half to go here in the second period. Good Brunson. Out of the head. Knocked down deep and sent on into the corner, but Boyes is there to tap it free. Florida keeping it in with Bergenheim. And it's going to be trapped beside the net and held by Enroth with 9.17 remaining in the second period and Buffalo a 1-0 lead. Your maintenance trust in the vinyl outlet, the official fence and deck installer of the Buffalo Sabres. And the vinyl outlet top D, Ryan Miller selected the U.S. Olympic team. Jonas Enroth was selected to the Sweden Olympic team. And one of only three NHL teams that have both goalies selected as Olympics. The others were Detroit and Montreal. Good luck to both of them. Yes, sir. And I wonder if you see Jonas play a little more coming down the stretch here just to give him a hand to get him into that game shape that he needs to be. And here's a chance, and it bounces right beside the net. Panthers keep the puck in the Buffalo end. Back to the point, a long shot. Kicked away by Pesic, but not out. Goes back into the boards. Fleischman left it there and picked up by Erhoff. Erhoff to Pesic. Pesic knocks it on to Ott, and that's going to go all the way to Thomas at the other end. Tapped across ice by Bukestad. And on to center. Long pass ahead is too high for Upshaw and ends up being an icing against the Panthers. Blue Cross Blue Shield values our members by giving a 10% discount at the Sabres store. Just show your ID card. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Western New York. Healthy changes everything. Now Ennis is out to take this face off. Against Bukestad. Rolls on into the corner. Campbell tapped it around behind the net. Now up on the boards. Kept in there by Buffalo. And rolled free back to the point. Quick shot right on. Thomas kicked that one away. And it's brought on to center ice. Florida making changes as Seltzer is back to pick it up. Seltzer up to Gergensen, stolen away by Weaver, who brings it back in over the line. Had his pocket picked and away goes Ennis. Ennis and Molson, two on one. Ennis over to Molson. Molson back to Ennis. Couldn't get his own. He gave it back to Molson. And he couldn't get his stick on it. And now the Panthers will bring it back again. Roll to the Buffalo line and over and gunned across. Ice with a shot and Kopetsky just wide of the net. Molson picks it up and he gets nailed by Weaver and now Ennis goes after Weaver and now Gurgensen mixes it up with Weaver. Here are the Panthers going back in with a shot. Coming up by Enroth and he'll hang on to it. Well, the Sabres came very close to going up by two here. Great job by Gurgensen's breaking this play up on the back check. Two on one, Molson to Ennis, back to Ennis, back to Molson. One too many passes there at some point. Take the shot, get it on net. But a nice job by most men. Both men moving the puck back and forth, but an excellent play by Gergensen, creating the whole play with the back check. Now rolled by McBain through center ice. Jovanovski leaves it back there. Panthers will try and come away again with a pass that's brought back in over the line by Shore. Shore takes his shot. That one wide. Tipped into the corner. Kept alive by Hayes. And broken up by Felino. Felino turns and guns it across ice and gets it on to center for McNabb, who can't get anywhere. 
Florida with it again. Pass coming across ice. Jovanovski and Felino had a little thing going. Meanwhile, the puck goes out of play. Nope. Eddie Jovanovski letting Marcus Felino know what he thought of that little bit of a late hit. What you see in the Sabres here in the second period, got their feet moving. They're going a lot harder here. Generated six shots to this point in the second period, but some good opportunities getting it down low, finishing some checks all over the ice. More engaged, more involved in the first. Hooked up on the wing. Konopka got it into Ellis, who couldn't catch up with the puck in time. Konopka holds it in there. Got it around behind the net. And it's going to be scooped up on the wing as Gilbert is taken out by Scott. And Erhoff keeping it in. Left for Gilbert again. Tom Gilbert swings it on to center. The pass is stolen back again by Kanopka. And cleared to D'Agostini, who couldn't pick it up. Fed across ice, jumps up in the air. Kept in by Barkov. He drills it around behind the net. Panthers holding it in with Bergenheim. Back to the point it comes. Over to Weaver. Weaver fired one wide of the net. Here's the rebound, and it goes around behind the goal and into the corner. D'Agostini pries it free and brings it on to center. And he'll slip it in deep. And Buffalo changes up. Kulikov going back after it, leaving it to Weaver. Weaver putting it across ice, and it's swung in around behind the Buffalo net, picked up by Seltzer. Seltzer scooped it to the corner, but too far for Larson. Came out in front. There's the shot, and Enroth makes the save on Fleischmann. And it's cleared across ice and recovered by Ott, who sends it on to center, getting away from Good Bronson. Now into the corner, D'Agostini battling his way around behind the net. Chipped on the boards, but kept in by Weber, who took a elbow up high from Upshaw. And they have some words. Now it's cleared around on the other side. And it's fired on to center ice, where Seltzer knocked it free, but can't control it. And there's penalty coming up here to Buffalo. And Seltzer's going to go. 5-11 remaining, second period. Buffalo has a 1-0 lead. The Connors and Ferris replay. Western New York workers' comp attorneys committed to serving Buffalo and Rochester's injured worker. Now Alex Seltzer's in the box for hooking here, right along the wall. Him and Ennis get tied up a little bit as Fleischman tries breaking through the middle. Soldier stick comes up, comes catches him in the midsection, hauls him down. Sabres are going to kill this one. 5-11 left in this second period, up one. Erhoff up with it in the corner, tried to scoop it along the boards, but gets tied up in there. It comes free, and Ott has time, and he dishes it down the ice. Panthers with Campbell starting back again. Sends it to the Buffalo line and over and carrying on is Fleischman who leaves it back at the point. Worked across ice by Boys. Boys has it again. Holding it in. Took his shot right in front of the net and Enroth held his ground on Fleischman. Or on Bergenheim. I beg your pardon now. It comes back to the point again to Campbell. Campbell drops it off. Campbell's got it again. Campbell holding it in there. Sends it on to Fleischman. Back to Campbell, one-timer, and ripped it wide of the net. Recovered by the Sabres, but not out. Florida keeping it in. Tap back to the point again. Fleischman leaves it there. Picked up by Barkov. He takes a screenshot, and that one is nailed and held by Enroth. Well, New York Lotto inside the numbers. Brian Campbell playing in his 800th NHL game here tonight. So far along the way, 71 goals, 411 points. A plus 21 rating. Big one, though. He averages 27-43 of ice time per game this season, which rates him second in the NHL in that category. Mm -hmm. Doesn't get off the ice too long. I saw him before the game tonight playing soccer or whatever they call that game is with a soccer ball downstairs. We've chatted with him. Now it's kept in by Jovanovski. He sends it across ice. Dump back along the boards, kept in again by the Panthers with the power play. Jovanovski's shot gets blocked, kept into the corner, around behind the net, and kept alive by Bukestad. He got it in front, but there's Ott 
to slap it away and send it down. 40 seconds remaining in the penalty. Pass to Jovanovski. He got it to the line. Carries on again, but gets knocked down, and play has been whistled down, and they're calling it a glove pass. I think too many men, they're making the call against the Sabres. No. Yep. Ken. Well, who's the other guy? Now this is the call. The linesman made You're it. right. It is the linesman who made the call. On the right side of the screen, you'll see where the bench is. There's three in the middle. There's still only four out there. Oh, he comes in, makes contact with two yeah. men as he's going off. I think that might be Steve Ott there making contact as he's going to the bench with two men after the Sabre player had already replaced him. So now Buffalo two men short. The first penalty to Seltzer has 31 seconds remaining in it. Oh, Ott kicked it free but can't get it out. Comes back to Campbell. Campbell tapping it across ice. Panthers moving it in. Try to get it out in front. It comes back to Fleischman. Fleischman on to Campbell. Campbell switches sides. Fleischman doesn't shoot. Cleared it right beside the net. And across comes Enron. Now it's dumped back and kept in there by Barkov. Barkov back to the point. Campbell takes a look. He slides it on into the corner. Back to the point again. Fleischman dishes it over. But the Panthers get it back now to Campbell. Buffalo one man short. Panthers getting it back to Campbell again. Campbell into the corner. It's drifted across ice. Panthers keeping the puck moving around in the Buffalo end. Still with the man advantage. Tapped around and it goes to the corner. Now work back to the point again. Campbell swings it over to Fleischman. Fleischman flipped it. And it goes just wide of the net. Back around behind the goal. Recovered in the corner by Erhoff. And Erhoff punches it all the way down the ice. And Buffalo hustling to make a change. And they complete it with less than a minute remaining in the second saber penalty being served by Omar. Now tipped in over the Buffalo line, broken up by Weber, but kept in by Florida around behind the goal. They tried to jam it into the short side, and Enroth came across to take it away. Well, Jonas Enroth putting on a clinic here in this second period. Brad Boys gets a great opportunity here, comes across. Watch this puck, goes right off the shaft of Jonas Senrat and up and over the net. And then Bergenheim had gonna have a chance here right at the end, trying to stop it on the wraparound. But Jonas is quick enough to get that pad across, tuck to the post, and there's no room for that puck to sneak in. Panthers still have the power play. 35 seconds remaining in the Buffalo penalty. Tip beside the net, recovered by the Sabres. Oh, no trip there, and it's worked around on the boards. Jovanovski holds it in. Now steered on into the corner, back to Jovanovski again. He dumped it to the other side with a shot, and that's kicked away and picked up by Flynn. Flynn on to center, just takes his time, taps it in, and charges in after it. In Jovanovski in the corner. And that's tapped free and picked up by Gosh. Up to center, and in over the Buffalo line, Huberdo, the weak shot, that's clipped around behind the net. Erhoff has it, he cleared it, tried to get it to Omar coming out of the penalty box. But it was intercepted in the nick of time, brought back now by Hayes. Hayes gives it away. Gergensen firing it in. Thomas is out to play it around behind the net. It's scooped around on the boards for Upshaw. Upshaw coming to center. Gergensen's after him. He comes back and takes the puck away from him. Clipped around behind the net. And a long pass to center and didn't get to Molson. Panthers chasing after it again. Brought back in over the line by Shore. He left it there. And it's chipped off the wall and sent out through center ice. One minute to go here in period number two. Weaver recovering for Florida. Tipped ahead, goes wide of the net, pounded all the way into the corner. Kept in by Shore, sending it around behind the goal. Erhoff rifles it all the way around in the other direction. To Molson. Molson checked from behind, goes after it again. Shore couldn't get anywhere. Enroth starts out of the net and now fires it around on the boards. McBain couldn't get it out. Ennis will. Ennis with a pass. That's taken back by Good Brunson. 
He brings it back in over the line. Working it on to Boys. Boys dropped it back. Campbell ripped it wide. Rebound. Slapped away, but it goes to Boys again. Boys for the Panthers. Turning in the corner, and he cleared it back. There's nobody home. Goes all the way down to Thomas at the other end with 10 seconds to go in the period. Well, the Panthers try to get it going again, but Campbell chased around in his own end. Just fires it on to center, and that shall bring the second period to a close. Well, a much better period for the Sabres. They got their feet going. They got the puck in. They worked it a lot more engaging and started taking the room that Florida was giving them, that they gave them in the first period. They didn't take advantage of it. They started it in the second. So in the second period, Buffalo recorded only six shots on goal. However, one of those six went into the net. Panthers came up with 12 and have an edge in shots, 25 to 14. However, on the big board, which is where it counts, Buffalo with a one nothing lead. We had two highlights, and we have a goal. Had nothing after 20 minutes of play. This, though, was Steve Ott to Jamie McBain. Matt D'Agostini has points in consecutive games, as that is a third assist for him on the year, and it leads Buffalo to the break after 40 minutes up by one. Your Vein Treatment Center summary. Visit them online at veinsveinsveins.com. Scoring chances are even, which is probably not what Florida should be happy with at this point, given the number of power plays and looks that they had in period number two. Hits are close, but special teams on the surface look real close. But I'll tell you, it was a golden opportunity, as Mike Robitaille alluded to. 30 seconds, two-man advantage, and they just never really pushed through. Buffalo's better on the faceoffs, clearly, in the second. They couldn't have been any worse. They were only 18% after one period of play. You might want to circle on that lower uh, right side, Mike Weber. He has been very good wearing the A tonight. Six hits and just seems to be extremely poised, which is no surprise. He, he truly, folks, felt humbled and honored to have that letter on his jersey tonight in the absence of Tyler Myers, who is suspended, this being the first of his three games absence. Corsi number takes a bit of a hit in that second period. Again, uh, Florida had some good shots. Jonas Enroth up to the challenge. 25 in total for Florida now as they had a 12-6 advantage in the period. Buffalo's come up with 10 blocks in the game. Mark Pesek the leader in that regard with a pair. Pesek and Erhoff have been the biggest duo defensively in those penalty kill situations for the Sabres with more than three minutes of ice time on the kill. Well, we also noted, of course, uh, total possession. It was even through 20 minutes of play, a little bit more tilted in Florida's favor in that second, which, of course, was reflected just moments ago in their shots on goal. And their offensive zone possession time, a little bit more in favor of the Panthers, again, based largely on those power play opportunities. You see Ryan Miller with a look at the rope line and a little bit of a nudge there to those fans who are waiting down below. This is a real interesting situation right now for Jonas Enroth. I alluded to the fact that he's had very little uh, run support, if you will, in each of his last seven starts. He is still in that position where the margin between victory and uh, defeat is obviously razor thin. But uh, again, as Mike and, and Rob certainly through the course of the game have alluded to tonight, Enroth seems absolutely dialed in tonight. Let's see what he can deliver in the third to try to bring this one home, which would be a Buffalo six straight win on home ice. One nothing as we head to the third. And Jonas Enroth so far has handled 25 Florida shots flawlessly as we get this third period underway. Whistled on in by Pezik. Thomas plays it behind the net, shovels it off into the corner and the pass up on the wing. Play it across ice to who else? He's always out there it seems. Campbell. Campbell getting it in over the line. Cleared back but stolen away by Buffalo and whipped out to center too far for Ott. Panthers will scoop it right back in again. Pezik got it around behind the net to Erhoff. He's challenged in the corner, trying to kick it free, but the Panthers' boys comes up with it. Boys squeezing it back in the other direction to Bergenheim. And around into the corner. D'Agostini trying to kick it along the wall, but it's kept in with a long shot that's right on. And Roth flagged that down as he got it ahead and deflected out to center, picked up by Kulikov. Kulikov. Wheeling it in all the way around on the board. Kick back in behind the net. Weber broke it up. He dribbled it around trying to get it to Gergensen's, but it's held in there. Now it's bounced in front of the net. There's a backhand. Oh, and Enroth comes over to make the save. And the puck is cleared on out to center ice. Jovanovski flipped it ahead. It's gone right back in again. Enroth playing it around behind the net. Seltzer dished it off into the corner. 
Pass ahead goes to center. Recovered by Jovanovski. Both teams engineering changes. Gosh to the Buffalo line and over. Tricky shot. That one is bounced off the leg of Sensor. Steered on into the corner. Picked up by Kopeski. He'll send it back to the other direction. Panthers keeping it alive by dropping it off to Campbell again. Campbell swings behind the net, trying to work it out in front. Put back into the corner, recovered by Weber, but he can't get it out. It came in front of the net. They all walk away at it there, and finally held by Enroth. Well, a couple of very good opportunities by Florida. You're going to see Fleischman here. He's going to be given a gift, and he's not able to open it. He hits the post. Comes across. He's got so much time. He almost hurried himself a little bit, and right there he puts it off the post. He had Jonas down, out, and beat, but he puts it off the post. Kick away out of in the circle, but it's picked off and brought away now to center ice. Ott trying to steer it in over the line. Ellis is trapped in there. He's offside, and he'll have to get out, and so will Kanopka. Panthers bring it back. Sabres break it up, and now there's a penalty coming up here to Buffalo. Yeah, it's a tripping call here. Right at the blue line. And John Scott's going for the second time tonight. Took a penalty in the first. Now he's getting his second one here in the third. Right along the wall. Wow. You see him swing around here. The stick's going to get caught between the legs. And then he just crumbles. Nevertheless, they got to kill off the penalty here. So Campbell, who played 18 and a half minutes in the first two periods, leads the rush through center and clears it on in around behind the Buffalo net. Ott trying to chop it free. He got it to the corner. It's rifled around to the boards and back down the ice by Pesic. 90 seconds remaining in that penalty. Swung across ice. Bergenheim drifts it over to Fleischman. Fleischman puts on the brakes. He tries to clear it. It goes high in the air. Held in by Barkov. Barkov chasing after it in the corner again. He flipped it back along the boards. Comes to the point to Campbell. He leaves it to Fleischman. Back to Campbell. It jumped his stick and went to center ice. Campbell try to bring it back in again and does. He cleared it back in front of Fleischman. Takes a shot up the goalpost. Cleared to the boards and Gergensen's will tap it down the ice. Less than a minute remaining in the penalty. And away goes Campbell again. He almost lost an edge. But he recovers and brings it in over the Buffalo line. Steers it around behind the net. Picked up by Larson. Larson slapped at it. Didn't get it out. It's deflected and out to center ice. Campbell rolling it back across ice. Campbell finally says, I need some rest. He goes to the bench. Jovanovski has it. Jovanovski getting it on to Kopetsky. Getting it over the line, but broken up by Erhoff, who fell as he cleared it out of the zone. Panthers bring it back in again. Here's a chance clear right across ice. It goes to the corner. And Larson spinned it, but didn't. Yes, he did. Came out over the line, back in, offside. Well, we showed Thomas Fleischman's gift. Earlier in this period, takes another great shot from the middle of the slot, and he puts it off the same post. This is twice in a matter of three minutes for Fleischman hitting that same post. To which Jonas Enroth says, thank you very much. Kanapka gets thrown out of the faceoff area. It'll bring Ott in against Gosh. And it's Seltzer who goes back after it. Ten seconds remaining in the penalty. Campbell keeping it in. Dishes it off into the corner. Came out in front. They shot right on by Upshaw. Back to Campbell again. Buffalo returns to full strength. Campbell gets it back to the point. And deflected right in front of the net. The rebound. That's slapped away. Goes back into the corner. Jammed around on the boards but not out of the zone. And Kanopka got nailed. Now Ott lost his stick. Cleared across ice. Gosh getting it back to Campbell. Campbell leaves it there. Held in by Gilbert to Gosh. Gosh to Campbell again. 
Campbell into the slot. It's gone wide by Shore and all the way back into the floor to end. And now, finally, Kanopka makes his way to the bench, somewhat worse for wear. Back come the Panthers, flipping it in. Boyce got it into the corner. McBain tried to tie it up in there, leaves it for Ennis, and Ennis rolled it ahead and out to center ace. And it's picked up there and brought in by Gergensen's. Gergensen's cutting in and trying to clear it in front of the net to get it to Ennis, and it hit a skate and deflected away. Came right beside the net again. Now poked around on the boards. Panthers. Leading it back into their own end to Weaver. Weaver taps it around behind the goal. Picked up by Kulikov. Kulikov sending it on to center. Steered to the Buffalo line and over. Broken up by the Sabres and tapped out to center ice. And away goes Ennis. Ennis will scoop it in and head to the bench. Dirkinson's carries on into the corner. But he can't come up with it. And the Panthers bringing it back again to Brunson. Leading it in around behind the Buffalo net. Erhoff tried to steal it away. Pezik poked at it. Didn't reach it. Now rolls back behind the net again. Tapped off into the corner. Jovanovski moves up. And it's tipped in behind the net. And Erhoff gets it around for Flynn. Flynn banks it up to Omar. Omar's pass comes right back to him again. And he gives it to Erhoff. On to Pezik. Pezik sending it through center. That'll be deflected in by Felino. To Brunson leaving it in the corner. Jovanovski being challenged, taken away by Omar. Omar tried to get it to Flynn. Backhand right on. Thomas got a leg on that. Kept in by Seltzer. Seltzer scooped it to the other side. Sabres holding it in with Weber. Now well, the Panthers recovering again. Stolen almost beside the net. Bartolino, he goes after it again. Bumping into Good Brunson. Omar takes it away. Omar got it out in front. The shot, and that save is made. By Thomas. As Larson let it go. Back it comes to the point. A long shot deflected just wide of the net. Omar trying to come up with it. Can't do it. And it's steered on to center ice. And Thomas chases after his stick in behind the play. Panthers coming away with a pass that's dragged in over the line. Good shot fired wide by Hayes. D'Agostini got it to the blue line and kicked it out over the line to center ice. Panthers going back after it again. Larson went for a tumble. And he steps off on a change. Here's Florida. Getting it ahead and getting it deep into the Buffalo end. Jason back after it in the corner. McNabb being tracked by Gilbert. But it's picked up by Molson. And Molson clears it on to D'Agostini, who will leave it there to Ennis. Ennis in over the line. Faked his shot. Still has the puck. Shovels it in down low. Trying to get it to Molson, But it rolls around to Gilbert. And Gilbert sends it through the middle to Campbell. Campbell tapping it in deep. McBain swings it around on the boards. Deflected to the blue line by Gergensen. Can't get it out. Florida holding it in there again. Roll back into the corner. McNabb pries it free. McNabb up to Gergensen. He got it to center ice. Florida recovering. Weaver being chased around in his own line. It's knocked down. The puck is... Lying ahead, now it's taken back again by McBain. He will swing it over to McNabb. On to Molson, he flips it on in. 11 and a half to go here in the third period. Ahead to Gosh. To Weaver. Weaver drills it in. Enroth comes out to tap it back into the corner with a pass ahead. It is scooped off the boards and on to center ice. Picked up and brought in over the line by Ellis. Ellis with the backhand and the save was made by Thomas. It's right in the goal crease and went right back to Thomas again. After a collision in the goal crease and a meeting of the minds in behind the Florida Nets. 11-11. Oh, that's a good one in Vegas, isn't it? Left in the third. 1-0 Buffalo. Since 1999, the Sabres have won over 500 games. And Selena and Barnes has won over 20,000 cases for our clients. If you need our help, give us a call. Now, Jonas Enroth has not only faced 29 shots tonight, he's fought a lot of traffic off all night long. You see Scotty Upshot get pushed in him there, knocked him down while they were killing that last penalty. But he's done an excellent job to this point, reading the play, following the puck, and making the save. Now, Kanopka clears it in. Thomas left it behind the net, but it's punched out in front. Kanopka came over, and he takes out Barkov. 
And the Panthers bring it back in over the line. Campbell across ice. Ray Sabres made the rebound. That's cleared away. Here's another shot. They score. Finally punched into the net as the Florida Panthers get the goal from Tom Gilbert to tie the game. Now this puck comes all the way out to the top of the face-off circle. And Tom Gilbert's able to walk right into this and take the slap shot. There was a lot of confusion in front. You see him getting his third goal of the season here. But it started up on the back, two on two. Third player coming in, nice back check. The original save was there, but Sulzer not able to get the puck quite far enough into a position where nobody could get it. It comes right to Gilbert, and you're gonna end up seeing, I think, go right off the skate of Alex Sulzer into the net. Oh, it's all tied at one. Panthers flipping it in, taken back by McBain behind his own net. McBain getting away from Fleischman, whips it off the boards to center. Florida getting it back again. Kulikov. Find somebody to give it to. He comes on and works it out to center to Huberdo. Huberdo whips it in over the line, but McNabb takes it back. McNabb got it to center ice. Scooped off the boards, right back to McNabb again. For McBain to McNabb. Pass up on the wing, D'Agostini hitting the line. D'Agostini took the shot, that's right on. Thomas steered it away. Head back behind the net, picked up by Weaver. That's brought on to center. Dished in over the line by Upshaw, on into the corner to Zach. Florida Kopetsky. Florida holding it in. Facing after it, good rocks it. He gets checked, it bounced on the boards, but not out of the zone. Omark went down. Airhoff out to center for Flynn. Flynn scoops it ahead. Panthers get it back. Gosh, bounce to the ice by Polino. Into the corner to Airhoff. Airhoff got it up on the wing. Polino's pass across ice to Pesic. It was in his skates, but he picks it up and wheels it in. Goes to the corner. Kept in by Buffalo. Felino's got it again. Felino back to Flynn. He misses it, but it's held in at the point by Seltzer. Getting it down along the boards. Gosh got it behind the net. And it's set up ahead and cleared back through center ice and brought on now by Gosh. He'll just ease it on in and head off on a chain. Seltzer taking it back. He fanned on it, but he got it back again and the pass now to Ennis. And Ennis starts down the wing to the Florida line. Nines get knocked it on into the corner. Gilbert got it around on the boards. It jumps up in the air, scooped on out to center, and recovered by Barkov. In over the line, Campbell's shot, and he ripped it wide. Around on the boards it comes. Kept in by Florida. Weber comes over to take out his man. Now a hit, but Gergensen can't get it out. It's kept in, a quick shot off the goal post. The shot taken by Shore cranked the pipe. Back comes Buffalo, Gergensen try to cut in, and Thomas is way out to knock it away. Rolled along the boards now to the Buffalo line and over. And McBain is back there. McBain leaving it in the corner. Long pass up at center, it's picked up, and here's Gergensen racing after it in the corner. Gergensen around behind the net. Gergensen still with the puck, he cleared it to goal crease. Left across ice. And our Larson getting it back now to McNabb. Took the shot. That's cleared away. Kept in by Buffalo momentarily. Finally, Kulikov takes it away. Kulikov getting in over the Sabre line. His shot is going to be right on and be held by Enroth. Seven and a half from eight here in the third period. It is all tied up at one. The Florida Panthers and the Buffalo Sabres battling it out here in downtown Buffalo. Matt Ellis gets Kulikov in the corner as he steps into him. And look out! And he drills him, make the right decision, insist on through the collision. The official collision repair centers of the Buffalo Sabres. Now the Sabres need a little of that pushback here in this third period. They have taken a step back and allowed Florida to dictate this play. Now the puck is shoveled off the boards down into Florida territory. And back after it is Campbell. 7.20 to go, third period. Campbell getting it up on the wing. That will be tapped in, but it's hit somebody at the Buffalo bench, I believe. Well, the goal has been changed to Brad Boyce.
Standing in front, he's with Salzer, 24 boys. You see his stick right there. Puck's gonna come across, and his stick is right up tight to Salzer's skate, and he redirects that puck into the net. Former Sabre has tied the game. Uh, it's deflected off Flynn, and Thomas comes out to play it around on the boards. Kulikov gets challenged in there, but knock it ahead. Then picked up and brought on by Barkov. Got it in over the line. Across ice to Weaver with a shot. That's kicked away. The rebound. They score. Well, the whistle went, apparently. The puck definitely went in the net. But I think they blew the whistle because Kulikov was down on the ice back in the, in the Florida end. And he laid there for an awful long time. There was a collision in the corner. He just dropped to the ice, and he laid there as the Florida Panthers came up the ice and ended up putting the puck in the net right here. You see Marcus Foligno come up and get the stick right into his face. As he turns around right there, he comes up. He gets Kulikov in the face, lays there like he was shot, and does not move. He didn't even really attempt to get himself to the bench. Well, now they're... I, I don't understand if the whistle went, and that's the reason the play was stopped and it wasn't the goal, why are they conferring with Toronto? Well, we're going to track and see when the whistle did blow. Okay. Boy, that's awful close, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And you would think when the initial scoring opportunity was taken. If they were going to blow it, they would have blown it then. So it should have gone a lot quicker than when that rebound. When he made the initial save, the whistle probably should have went then. The play is under review. So are they reviewing it because of the whistle? That's the thing that we're trying to find out or trying to establish here. But there's no doubt the puck went into the net. There's absolutely no doubt about that. But when did the whistle go? Because we assume because Kulikov was lying on the ice injured back in the Florida end. Now, of course, we're not privy to that conversation between the official here and the war room in Toronto. So we're merely speculating at this point in time. Now, you would almost think as soon as that initial scoring opportunity was over, and that's when the shot came from the side. When Enroth made the save, then the play's over. And that's when the whistle probably should have went to go back to 10 to the guy laying in the in the well, zone. Here's the decision coming up right now. After review, not reviewable. Uh, I don't. Uh, it's no goal. Yeah, but we, <laughs> we, we couldn't hear the. Referee Mike Hasenfrat, so we're not sure. I'm going to take one more quick look here with sound to see for the whistle. Well, what's what's not reviewable? The fact that the whistle went, or when it went, is that what's not reviewable? That's what I'm asking. And I don't think we're the only two confused here on this no, one. Well. Well, obviously, the Florida Panthers are not happy about the situation. They think that they're leading in this game 2-1, to one, or should be leading in this game 2-1. to one. But the Buffalo fans are very happy. Well, they should look at their own player, Kulikov, for laying on the ice back there. He's the one that's taking this goal away from them. But on the other hand, Razor, there was no penalty called on Marcus Foligno either. Nope. High sticking, so... I'm sure that uh, the Panthers are bringing that up. At the very least, they're probably saying, well, there should be, we should at least be on a power play now. Yeah, but there's one referee at each coach right now explaining to him the situation. Well, I'm sure Ted Nolan is no, quite, quite delighted. Yeah, with, he's fine. Uh, yeah, he's fine with it. Sure he's got he no problems. Yeah. There's a few questions being asked on the Florida bench. Yeah, Peter Horacek doesn't look too happy. Yeah, the referee has finally convinced him that it was the right call. He's letting it go. Still tied at one here with 6.53 left. 
Hopefully that was a little bit of a wake-up call here for the Sabres. Dumped in by Gilbert. And rolled around behind the net for Weber, who scooped it around on the board. But Gilbert keeps it in. And now Molson takes it back, flipped it, and got it out to center ice. Campbell is back to take it back. Campbell leaving it there to Gilbert. He leaves it for Brian Campbell. On to the Buffalo line and over. And the Sabres getting it back again. Seltzer steering it around behind the net. Weber catches up with a loose puck. It's deflected in. No, it's not deflected by Gergensen's. And it's an icing against Buffalo. Canisius College Student Surge brought to you by the Canisius Masters in Sport Administration. Find out more at canisius.edu. Seltzer off the boards to the blue line. Molson battling, trying to chip it out of there. Finally, it's knocked away by Ennis. Ennis in over the line. Gergensen's. He took the shot, and that's kicked away by Thomas. Up onto the wing to Barkov. Barkov bringing it back again, sliding it in over the line, trying to get it to Bergenheim. However, coming out after it was Enroth to cover up. With 5.54 remaining, third period, and it's all even and one. Florida Panthers have shot at Jonas Enroth 32 times so far in this game tonight, and he's had some great saves, including one on Marcus Gosh, right at the side of the net, and flashed out the leg at the last second to kick it away. The Toyota big save of the game. Uh, the exclamation quickly on that goal. The referee said he did not know Kulikov was hurt, and when he realized that he was, he blew the whistle just as the shot was taken. Oh, okay. Swept right through the Buffalo goal crease. Tipped to the blue line, but not out. Held in there by the Panthers. Another shot went off a skate, and that just about clipped into the net. Broken up, and D'Agostini starts it. He got the pass ahead to Ott in over the line. Ott shovels it on into the corner. Carson gets squeezed off. Left it there to D'Agostini. D'Agostini back to the point. McBain, long shot right on the rebound, and Larson couldn't get his stick on it. Ott keeping it in again. Turn to the cross ice, right on in front. It's intercepted. Here's Ott holding it in. That's picked off, and it finally slapped off the boards and brought back in again by D'Agostini offside. All right, Timmy Thomas had lost his stick for the second time tonight, and they weren't able to take advantage of it. They did a nice job down low, rotating the puck, getting it to the front right here. You see Timmy loses his stick. And they're just going to work it across. And right there, in front of the net, Larson's not able to connect on that pass from Steve Ott. See Timmy Thomas getting a little work done on the bottom of his pads. Might want a little work on his stick hand. Yeah, we may want to tape that to his <laughs> glove. Well, that's the reason for this delay. Thomas is over at the bench, having the necessary repairs done. And he's got a strap that runs underneath his skate through that hole right there. They're just taping it up. He says thank you very much and makes his way back into the goal crease. Pass to Kulikov. In over the Buffalo line, takes his shot, steered away by Enroth, goes back into the corner, recovered by Pezik. Pezik uses the boards to get it on to center ice. Panthers trying to get something going again. Brought ahead by Huberdo. He loses control. Sabres will start back. Scooped high in the air and called offside at the Panther line. Yeah, Marcus Foligno had snuck in. He was trying to time it. There was no room for him to go. And he had to just dip into the zone a little bit as that puck went over the line. Draws coming back in front of the Sabres bench where the pass was made from. Yes. 
Knocked down at the blue line. Comes to center ice again. Scooped on in deep by Ennis. Gilbert hit by Ennis. Came out in front of the net, but the Panthers get it back. Don't get it out. Kept in by Molson with the long shot. That gets knocked down off the leg and cleared on to center by Campbell. Got it back in the other direction. His shot off the goalpost again. And fired around on the boards. And Ennis gets rid of it to center ice. The Panthers have hit by my count at least four posts in this game. Now Jovanovski leaves it in his own end for Campbell. Up to Jovanovski. He'll send it in deep and that'll be tapped around behind the goal. Sixer whips it in the other direction. And it bounces out to center. Too far for Gergensen. So he's on his way to the bench. Dosh getting it in over the line. He takes his shot. That's blocked by Seltzer. Around on the boards. In behind the net. Knocked free by Upshaw. Back to the point it comes. Jovanovski's long shot. And Enroth sees that one coming and picks it off. Well, here's the latest post that the Florida Panthers have hit. Bergenheim coming in. Great shot, just sneaks over the top of Enros glove and hits that same post once again. That baby's bruised. Yep. It's done its job to me. McVeigh recovering in the corner with three and a half to go. D'Agostini tapped it through center. Kulikov will get it back. Kulikov gains center. Head in deep by Gosh, recovered by McBain. McBain leading the rush back again with the pass through the middle to Larson. Larson got it into McBain and the shot got blocked. Kulikov swings it off the boards, held in by McNabb, it right up and comes away to Upshaw. Upshaw in over the line, Hawk watching him. Upshaw still has the puck. Upshaw leaving it back at the point, that's blocked by D'Agostini. And taken away by McBain, who got it on to D'Agostini again. It's in over the Florida line, trying to get to the outside, got turned around by Gilbert. Swung back to the point, air hop over to Pezik. Pezik cleared it in beside the net. Back it comes to Pezik again. He'll hold it in. He fired it off into the corner. D'Agostini getting knocked. Came in front of the net. Here's a back hit. Shot wide of the net by Larson. Kept in now by Buffalo. Omar back to McBain or Pezik with a shot right on. And that's going to be held by Thomas. Well, Larson gets himself in great position once again right here. One-on-one -on -one with Tim Thomas. Goes to the backhand. And he just misses the net as he rolls the wrist right there. It misses the net by about six or eight inches. Very close. Once again, this is twice in this third period. Once in the high slot, wasn't able to get a hold of it to redirect it from Steve Ott, and then right there on the backhand, just puts the puck wide. Once again, Timmy Thomas having some difficulties with that same pad. Yeah, but he appears to have fixed it on his own this time. So with 2.17 remaining in the third, they'll drop it in Florida territory. Runs it. Swings it up the middle. And it's tapped by Barkov to the boards. Kept in by Buffalo. Flynn looking at a cross ice. Weber's shot gets blocked. And it's scooped out to center. Weber knocking it down. Getting it across ice. Seltzer throws it right back in again. Good Bronson trying to come up with it in the corner. He does. And he feeds it ahead as he takes a hit from Felino. Drifted in by Jovanovski. Round on the boards, Panthers keeping it in in the goal crease. And it's fed away and sent off the boards and out to Gergensen's. Gergensen's all by himself in over the line as teammates are changing and he steers it around behind the Panther net. Shoveled back into the corner again and whistled around to shore. To Barkov. And his pass ahead taken away to center to Kopeski. That ends up sliding deep into the buffalo end. McCain gets it back. Trying to get it to Molson. Molson flipped it, did not get it out. Weaver holds it in there. Goes all the way around into the corner again. Panthers taking the puck in the Buffalo end. Back to Kulikov, and he jumps out to center with a minute remaining in the third. Kulikov tracks it down in his own end. He sends it across ice, and it's dumped in deep. 
scooted around into the corner to McCain, who gets it up on the wing. Olsen trying to get away. He fed it ahead. It was taken out of the air, drifted right back deep into Panther territory with both teams changing and 35 seconds remaining in regulation. Pass to Campbell. Campbell over to Gilbert. Gilbert gets to center and dishes it in deep. That goes to the corner. Fleischman knocked it free. Larson took it away. It gives it to Erhoff. Erhoff got it around on the boards and back inside the Panther line where Campbell recovers again. Campbell sliding it to Jovanovski. Back for Campbell. Single digits left on the clock. It's cleared ahead. Gosh getting it in over the line to Fleischman. Fleischman tried to clear it in front. Went around behind the net. Back into the corner. And we are going to OT. Yeah, the Sabres did not come out in this third period playing the same way they did in the second. Florida had the pressure on for the majority of this period, able to generate an opportunity and a tremendous amount of chances. But this game is all tied at one at the end of regulation from first side resetter. Panthers head on to New Jersey for their next game. The Sabres will go to Washington where they have a three o'clock engagement with the Capitals on Sunday afternoon. Campbell. Back in his own end to open the overtime. On to Gilbert. Gilbert chips it in over the line. Erhoff chasing after it, but it's kept in there by Barkov and recovered by Buffalo. Left for Erhoff again. To Pezik. He gets tied up. Gets some help from Ennis. Ennis scooting away through center ice. Ooh, and he ducked the check thrown at him by Bergenheim. Ennis has got it again. Bergenheim still chasing him. And Ennis is still carrying it. It's in over the Florida line. Now whips it around behind the net. Goes on into the corner. Campbell scoots it away. McBain keeping it in. And he shot it just wide. Comes around on the boards. It's fed ahead and picked up by Buffalo. Airhoff. He wheels in over the line. Airhoff still with the puck. Trying to clear it in to Ennis. But it's broken up. And fired on to center ice to Fleischman. Fleischman in over the line. He left it there. Kulikov ripped it high over the glass. And it's cleared out to center ice. Ott chasing back after it. Ott the long pass. Getting it on to Flynn. Flynn took the hit but got it back to Ott. Now to the point. McCain drills it right off. There's the rebound. Flynn Thomas covers up on Flynn. Well, nice attack by the Sabres. Everybody getting involved here. See Steve Ott dropping it to McNabb. McNabb takes a shot. Brian Flynn jumps all over the rebound. But you see Timmy Thomas coming out. Attacking, he's way outside of the blue paint. And he makes the save on Brian Flynn. Jovanovski steers it behind the net to Good Bronson. And he gets it back to Gosh. Three and a half or less left in the OT period. Brought on to center by Upshaw. Upshaw flips it in over the line to Goss. Trying to clear it in front. Oh, and deflected off a skate right to Enroth, who covers up. But right off the skate of Upshaw. Well, it's Miller time. Brought to you by Miller Light. And we talked about posts. Well, there's been five of them hit by the Florida Panthers here tonight. Four in the third period alone. And once again, Jonas Enroth thanking his post for the support he's got from them tonight. Goaltender's best friend, huh? That definitely is, and tonight they're very good friends. Here's Weber being chased around behind the net. Left it there to Seltzer. Seltzer into the corner. Panthers keeping it in, getting it back to Campbell. Takes his shot, and he fired that wide, and it ends up going all the way back through center ice. Florida to try it again. Huberdo drops it back and gets a return pass from Campbell. Spun back into the corner. Huberdo comes up with it again. Huberdo tried to leave it there. Got it back again. Came to the blue line. 
Kept in by Florida. Back it comes in front of the net. Stolen away by Larson. Larson cleared it up in the boards and he drops it back. And Larson takes a hit well after he dropped the puck off. And now Larson and Huberdo are mixing it up and are separated and brought back in by D'Agostini. D'Agostini around behind the net. D'Agostini still got the puck. He leaves it there. Ennis starting in. Here's Ennis around behind the goal. Ennis coming all the way back and he went to center ice. Now rolls it across ice and it's almost stolen. It's kept in there. There's a chance and a shot. That one is knocked out in front of the net and grabbed by Ennis and he'll hang on to it. He had it locked up in his pads. That was an adventure for Tyler Ennis. Yeah, it went up underneath his pants. Above the knee and up and in. But he almost made a huge boo-boo. <laughs> hanging on to the puck in the offensive zone. Coming out over the line and then turning it over in the, uh, in the defensive zone. And him and the defenseman both took the Florida Panther player, allowed Barkoff to walk in. McNabb slides it through center, but his teammates were changing. And Ennis is right back out there again. And over the line, Barkoff chasing after it in the corner, goes behind the Buffalo net. McBain takes him out. And it's left there and picked up by Molson. Molson on to center. Return pass from Ennis. Molson kicks it in over the line. Molson still hanging on to the puck. There's another corner of the shot right on. And Thomas comes up and makes the save on McBain. Well, Jamie McBain scored a goal in the second period by jumping up on the play. And he almost does it again here. Nice job by Matty Molson curling up, finding McBain in the one-timer position on the far side. And this puck almost sneaks through Timmy Thomas between his arm and his body. He was just quick enough to pinch it off to make that save, but it almost found its way through. Panthers steering it away. Campbell comes on to center. Campbell tipped it in over the line. Knocked down and recovered by Bugsad and went back to center ice again. Dad has it and leaves it back there to Gilbert. Taken by Bugstad. Now to Campbell. Campbell to the Buffalo Blue Line. Back over to Bugstad. He hit it in front of the net, but all the way across ice. Chopped off the boards and recovered by Flynn. Less than a minute remaining in OT. Flynn to safety behind his net. Watched by Fleischman. Gets it up on the wing to Ott. Ott swings it across ice to Flynn. Flynn leaves it for Ott. He had to wait for it. He dumps it in. And it's fed around on the boards. Airhoff holding it in there. Gets tripped up in the corner. Got it to Omar. Omar turning. Omar still with the puck. And he finally gets it. He's down on the ice and he's hurt. As Jovanovski comes back and play is called. Yeah, he's holding his mouth right now. And he's bleeding. But Eddie Jovanovski just stands him right up. Well, Omar is going for repairs, and the crowd is really upset there's no penalty called on the play, but unless he got the stick up. But yeah, it just looks like maybe his mouth area bounced off Jovanovski's shoulder. Well, this day and age of heads, hits to the head, you yep. never know. Do no, you? you don't. I definitely will be probably looked at after this game, only because of the injury, the bleeding. And the hit to the head. Yep. No, but, penalty, no penalty on the play, though. No, 26.9 seconds left in this overtime, too. Back for Campbell at center ice. He flips it across ice. It's left there for Gosh getting in over the line. He gets checked. Airhoff getting it back. Airhoff trying to slide it through the middle. Panthers keeping it in. Gosh shot it and shot it high and wide. Now around on the boards and Molson leaves it and has to chase back after it again. Molson feeding it on to Airhoff. 
Airhoff, long pass through center, but it doesn't matter because we are going to a shootout. Well, they survived to get to the shootout, but a couple big mistakes in overtime in the defensive zone almost cost them. And this seems to happen a lot to Buffalo. Shootouts from the first Niagara Center, and another one coming up next. Welcome back inside First Niagara Center, where we have a 1-1 game and are headed for a shootout. And uh, this certainly sets up to be an interesting one based on goaltending matchup, number of shooters that have had some pretty good success. And I think Buffalo fans know very well what they witnessed when Brad Boys was a member of this organization. And the entire league knows what Brad Boys has been able to do with any team he has been a part of. There is no player that has scored more. And in fact, at a clip of 46 points, 2% right now. Brad Boyce is the active leader in shootout goals. He's had 11 game deciders. That is not the all-time lead. That is currently held by Sidney Crosby who has 15, but we do know and we have seen many times Brad Boys loves to go in and do that uh, far reach one way and try to go around the netminder. We'll see if that's his uh, play. You know for sure that he's going to be involved in the shootout for Florida tonight. On the flip side, now keep in mind, the Panthers are 5-3, uh, and three, I believe, in shootouts this year. Uh, or at least the goaltenders that are involved in the game tonight are 5-3 and three total. Tim Thomas is 4-2, and two, so he's been on the winning side of it more often than not. And Jonas Enroth, this is his first shootout of the year. Ryan Miller's taken part in the previous six for Buffalo, sporting a record of 5-1. and one. But what has helped Ryan Miller to that 5-1 and one mark has been the play of some shooters in front of him, most notably Matt Molson. Now, he hasn't been as hot of late, but Molson is 3-for-5 on the year with a game decider. And as you can see, 12-for-21. In fact, before his most recent couple of misses, Molson was uh, right there among the active leaders as far as best shootout percentage for players who I think had more than uh, you know 15 opportunities at that point in time. Keep in mind that Steve Ott, the captain, has been looking pretty strong tonight. He is two for two in the shootout discipline. So Ennis, Molson, and Ott will be the shootout performers for the Sabres tonight. Barkoff, Huberdeau, and Brad Boys will be your shooters for the Florida Panthers. If it goes beyond those three for each side, I'm going to throw a dart here and say that perhaps Ted Nolan goes with Johan Larson. He hasn't had an opportunity in the shootout at the NHL level. He's had a number of good looks tonight. Still hasn't scored his first NHL goal, but did score a couple in the shootout in his most recent turn down in the AHL. Let's get to the shootout with RJ and Razor. All right, they're almost finished uh, with the resurfacing of the ice. Or not the resurfacing, the scraping of the ice, I should say. You do not put water down. You only clear out the shooting lanes, actually. And as soon as the officials are satisfied, they will get things underway here, and Tyler Ennis will come out and try it first for Buffalo. Ennis, Molson, and Ott for the Sabres. Markov, Huberdeau, and Boys. The Sabres have elected to shoot first. Shooting first, number 63, Tyler Ennis. Ennis gets the high sign from the official, and he picks up the puck at center and comes in on Thomas. Here's Ennis walking in, shot, and Thomas makes the save. Now Tyler Ennis comes in with good speed. He gets into the slot area, slams on the brakes. Kind of just slows down a little bit, and he just kind of loses control of the puck. It got a little ahead of him. He tried pulling it back, and by the time he did, he got to the left side of the net, and there was nowhere for him to go. Timmy Thomas had come across. Here's Barkov, the rookie. Now he's going to try as he comes in on goal. Back and an end walk comes out and takes it away from him. Now Barkov pretty nifty going in. A lot of stick handling. And you're going to see him kind of bait to the side, try going across to the backhand. He's going forehand, pulls it back to the backhand, but puts it directly into Enroth's glove. Molson. Molson. Trying to get Buffalo on top as he comes in, shoots, and fires it wide of the net. Matt Molson, from the time he picked up the puck, he stared at Timmy Thomas, the goaltender. He didn't have a ton of speed, but his head was up the whole time. He knew where he wanted to go. His head never moved from it, but he just missed the mark. And Jonathan Huberdeau will try it now for the Panthers. 
He picks up the puck and he comes in on in right and he does he score? No goal. Well, and now one official is pointing. What the heck's going on? Well, I don't think that puck went in. You can see it from this angle. Really? And that's the referee that made the call was on my side of the ice here. That puck looks like it is right by his knee. Right in front. Yeah. We'll take another quick look at it. The play is right here at the end. Take a look. He makes the move. He hits that leg. Ah, Let's pushes it in over the line, and then it comes back out, and then it lays north of the line. Well, the puck went across the goal line. There's yep. no doubt about that. Yeah, that should be a good goal. Well, we know the whistle can't affect that one. Another quick look right here on the left side of the net. He just kind of pushes and Roth and, and the puck into the net with his stick. And the momentum that Jonas had just goes back into the net. And then he realizes as he leads forward, it kind of pops back out over the line again. Now they're going to count it. It is going to be a goal. So Florida has taken the lead in the shootout. There's no goal on the play. The goalie was pushed to the net. Oh. They're saying no goal. That's amazing. One referee said yes, one yeah. said no. Wow. And Peter Horacek saying, wait a minute, come over and explain that one to me. Nobody wants to talk to him. That's twice tonight. So here comes Steve Ott now. Trying to take the lead for Buffalo as Ott comes in, shoots, and Thomas makes the save. Now Steve Ott comes in with a ton of speed, but Timmy Thomas just drops that right arm that's got his stick and blocker. Look at him, so calm and cool. He just sort of drops it right down, right there. He almost beats him. Steve puts it right off the blocker. Bad boys, one of the best. As he picks it up and comes in now and shoots one off the goal post, back into the net. And once again, one referee says yes, the other one says no. Well, the original shot went off the goal post. Now, when does here they go back to? Now I think it, if it goes off the post and then they go off the goaltender, it should count. And look at Florida, they're on the ice. They're celebrating the victory. And they're calling a goal. Yep, they are. So the Florida Panthers win it in the shootout. And one more quick look right here. Brad Boyce takes a shot. It's off the post, off the back of the leg, and into the net. That would have been the sixth post tonight if it did not go in. But it just momentum of Jonas coming back in hits the puck and pushes it in the net. I'm going to go outside and see where the moon is. This has uh, been a strange night, a very strange night all around. But in the end, the Florida Panthers prevail in the shootout.